In this video, we're going to create a pivot table from this food sales data. And in the pivot table, we'll analyze the sales by product or by month, and we'll use the running totals percent feature, which was added in Excel 2010. To create the pivot table, I'll click anywhere in this table and go to Insert, Pivot Table. This lets me create a pivot table based on a range. This is a named table and you can see the name of the table here is sales data. I would like to put the pivot table on an existing worksheet. So I'll click in this box and click the button to go to my workbook. I'll put it on this sales pivot sheet and I'll start in cell B3. I'll go back to the dialog box, and click OK. And now it's created an empty pivot table on that sheet. I can see all the fields here, so I'm going to drag that a little closer to my pivot table. I would like to see the products down the side. So I'll click Product, and that puts them in alphabetical order here. Then I'd like to see the total sales for each product, so I'll check this box. And because that's a value, it goes into the values area. You can see it has dropped in here as sum of total. So now we can see all the sales amounts. To make more sense of them, I'm going to put them in descending order. So I'll right click, sort, largest to smallest. So now we can see the products at the top that sold the best. I'll just double click here. That puts that field list off to the side again. With this list, I can see all the numbers for the products. And now I'm going to use the running total percent feature to see what percentage overall we're getting from these products. So to add that running total, I'm going back to the field list and I'm going to drag total down into the values area again. So this shows exactly the same information as the other column. Now I'll right click, show values as, percent running total in. I have to pick a field that it's going to run down. So it's going to run down this list of products and create this running total percent. So I'll click OK. So now we can see that 15% of our sales come from pretzels. And then when we add the whole green crackers to that, we're up to 30% and so on. And by the time we get down to the banana product, we're over 50% of our sales and we've only sold these four products. So that's where the bulk of our sales are coming from and these others contribute much less to our total sales. So that's one way to use the running total is to see where the majority of your sales is coming from. You could do the same thing with a list of customers with their total sales listed in descending order. We can also look at this information by month. Now I'm going to just change product into the date. So I'm going to take out this product field and as soon as I do that we'll see errors in the running total. So I'll remove the check mark here and now there's an error there because that field was based on product which has been removed. I'll put the date field in, so it goes in, and I don't want to see each specific date. I'm going to group it, so I'll right click, group, and we'll group by years and months. So now I can see January to December for 2014 and 15. I'll move year up into the filter, and we'll select 2015. So now this is in order of month, and we're still seeing the error here, so I'm going to fix that. I'll right click, show values as percent running total in, and product isn't in the table anymore, so we'll pick date, OK. And now we can see, as we go through the months, how much of our total sales has accumulated. So by the time we get to the end of July, we've got 52%. Here in the end of June, we're halfway through the year, but we've only made 44% of our sales. So we can see that more of the sales come later in the year. So those are a couple of ways you can use the percent running total feature in Excel pivot tables.
For more Excel tips and tutorials, and to download the sample file for this video, please visit my Contextures website at www.contextures.com.